and welcome to my very first unboxing video for a Star Wars playset or action figure or whatever you want to call this behemoth. Uh, this is the unboxing for the Star Wars AT-AT. This is the 2010 version. As you can see here, it's got a very nice picture of the AT-AT. It comes with an AT-AT driver as well as a speeder bike. So there's the picture of the box. So this is going to be a live unboxing. So let me go ahead and open this up. Uh, one of the things says over two feet tall. So, and I've watched a review of this, and this thing is actually taller than the vintage 1980s AT-AT, which I do have. So expect a review of this guy sometime soon. But this is just the unboxing video. So it looks like I'll open it up over here. I really like these new Star Wars. Uh, what do I want to call them? Not play sets, but uh, vehicles, I guess. There's, that's the word, vehicles. Uh, because this one in particular, as well as the Millennium Falcon that re was released a couple years ago, I think it was, uh, they have lights and sounds, come with figures, and just blows away the, uh, the vintage version. So let's go ahead and take a look here. Oh, all right. So you can see here. So we got the main body for the ATAT, and again, this is all live. So I'm just just kind of going off the cuff here. Here's the head section here. You can see here's the head. Take this out here. Looks like. Uh, go ahead and remove this thing. So here is the speeder bike, which is the cool part is it actually fits inside the AT-80, which I'll, of course, will show in the review. So I'll set that to the side for now. And let's see what do we got here in this thing. It's got a ladder. It's a little ladder here. And set that to the side. Here's the driver. You can see here are some parts and looks to be, without reading the instructions, some missiles, some guns maybe. You know, this will all be in the review though. And looks like the launchers for the guns. So you get a bag of accessories there. Let's see. <clears throat> Here is the main body, like I was saying before. As you can see, it comes on assembly. And let's see, cardboard is just falling off there. Looks to be pretty well detailed, which is good. And set that to the side. Here we got the feet. For the vehicle, I guess they wouldn't. I wouldn't. I guess you wouldn't call them feet, but that's kind of what they are. So you got these. What else is in this goodie bag here? Let's see. This looks like it. Oh, there's something in there. Let's take this out first. I'm not sure why I'm doing this, but I'm just kind of untying it rather than cutting it loose. I don't know why I would want to rebox this thing, but whatever. It's very nicely packaged, actually. Aha! Here is the head section. And I guess you'd call it part of the actual head section in the neck. Looks like you got this articulation there. Let's see. Well, I can tell already just by looking at this, this the cockpit section, which is the head right here. This thing is definitely bigger than the vintage AGAT, just by looking at the head alone, which is really amazing. 
So set that to the side and see what else is in here. Like I say, I don't know why I'm being so careful with this, but I don't know. It's not like I'm going to be reboxing this thing and reselling it, probably. Um, I actually had a ATTE from the Clone Wars. I bought it. You know, it was all right, but I ended up selling it <laughs> because I needed more space. So, but the ATAT is a classic. This is the, the vehicle that I grew up with. Okay, so here we got some legs. And I'm sure the instructions will tell how to mount them. But man, this is just, this is like, as you can see here, it's just about from the tip of my fingers to my elbow is how long this thing is. This is just one of the legs here. So this is freaking huge. It's got some weathering detail, if you can see it there. Of course, this is all be in the review too, so I don't know why I'm doing this, but then you kind of see how the the figure or the, the vehicle is detailed. Just by the looks of it, I could I, I think you could use some more detailing, some more weathering, and uh, that's probably my, kind of kind of my initial feeling. Uh, but I'll have to wait to see this thing. Whole, I'll have to wait to see this all together and, and make my final judgment. Then uh, I've got some more weathering on this piece here, as you can see. And I know Astro GM0089 said he's going to panel line his, which that might look good. I'm not so sure if I want to take that leap. I just don't trust myself um, to do a good job on that. But it's got some detail in there. And some more legs for a total of four. So I haven't seen the instructions yet. Hmm. Unless they came apart somewhere else here. I'll check inside the box. I don't see any instructions. Oh, wait, wait a minute, there's a pamphlet here. Oh, uh, it's just a toy catalog. Oh, here they are. Never mind. <laughs> they were hiding from me right here. Instructions. And some stickers. Oh, yeah, that's interesting. Kind of show you these stickers here. I'm not exactly sure how they're going to be used, but they're there. And the directions. So basically, the, the assembly directions say you put the legs on, put some batteries in. Uh, we got to attach the head some, and some of the, the head missile launchers. And I, I might do a assembly video just to show you how this thing goes together. But here is just a brief look at the instructions, if you can kind of make that out there. Alright, so it looks like I've got some assembling to do. I may make a assembly video out of this, I'm not sure. But uh, nonetheless, you will see the review of this thing once it's all together, for sure. Alright, well thanks for watching. This has been an unboxing of the 2010 Star Wars AT-AT.